This is the Michael Myers fanatic. Before you watch the video about the Zodiac Killer, I want to let you know that I had fun making it. However, I might have gotten a few details wrong about the case. I am not a police officer or a detective. I simply made the video for fun because I like discussing such things. If I'm wrong about anything, please kindly correct me in the comment section. However, if you're going to be rude or be an asshole about it, I will simply block you. Thank you, and enjoy the video. The Zodiac Killer was a serial killer who operated in Northern California in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The killer's identity remains unknown. The Zodiac murdered victims in Benicia Vallejo, Lake Berryessa, and San Francisco between December 1968 and October 1969. Four men and three women between the ages of 16 and 29 were targeted. But the Zodiac Killer would kill people and then call the police and taunt them or either he would send a letter taunting them. He even said in a letter one time that if they deciphered the cryptogram which is a code that they would also learn his true identity. His true identity was never revealed but one code was cracked by a school teacher by the name of Donald Gene Hardin. The cryptogram read, I like killing people because it is so much fun. They say he claimed his first victims on December 20th, 1968, and then he would do the same thing nearly a year later but some people believe that he actually started in 1963 the 1963 victims are Robert Domingos 18 years old and Linda Edwards 17 years old they were shot and killed on June 4th 1963 on a beach near Javiota, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Another victim, Sherry Jo Bates, was stabbed to death. She was 18 years old. This took place on October 30th, 1966, near Riverside City College. On March 22nd, 1970, a woman named Kathleen Johns, 22 years old at the time, was allegedly abducted and taken for a ride on Highway 132. The killer threatened to throw her baby out the window after he killed her. The police suspect that this might have been the infamous Zodiac Killer. Not every Zodiac victim died during an attack. For instance, on July 4, 1969, Darlene Farron and Michael Majot were shot. Michael Majot lived and Darlene died. After 1969, it is assumed that Michael Majot went into hiding. But he finally came out of hiding in 2007 to do a documentary called This is the Zodiac Speaking, which was named after the Zodiac's 
signature catchphrase. Cecilia Ann Shepard and Brian Hartnell were attacked in September of 1969 in a place called Lake Berryessa. Cecilia died and Brian Hartnell lived. There are only five confirmed Zodiac victims at this point. The Zodiac's final confirmed victim was a cab driver by the name of Paul Stein. He was killed in October of 1969. After that, the Zodiac would go silent, but he did return on April 24th, 1978, or at least I should say allegedly, because this letter was never confirmed. Anyway, the letter reads, quote, Dear Editor, this is the Zodiac speaking. I am back with you. Tell Herb Kane I am here. I have always been here. That city pig, Tashi, is good, but I am smarter and better. He will get tired, then leave me alone. I am waiting for them to do a good movie about me, who will play me. I am now in control of all things. After this letter, it was signed, Yours Truly, Guess, with the signature Zodiac symbol, which is a circle and cross. The Zodiac would then disappear. Now I will give you my opinion on who I believe the Zodiac was and why I believe he killed people. A lot of people think that the Zodiac was Arthur Lee Allen, who was a convicted child rapist. Some people think he was Richard Gajkowski, a man who worked for a newspaper company. Personally, I think the Zodiac was somebody that knew the area and that knew the victims or at least he had seen the victims around I think it might have even been somebody within their own circle it might have been a police officer which would explain his ability to get away so quickly and easily without being caught these are things that a psychiatrist doesn't even have to know. The Zodiac had an inferiority complex, which is why he constantly boasted about his knowledge and his ability to kill people, because that's all he had. He might have even been sexually inferior, which is why he would always say things like, Killing people is better than getting your rocks off with a girl. How would he know that unless he actually had sex with a girl? Maybe he failed sexually. Maybe that's why he always killed the women instead of letting them live. I don't think there was more than one person involved, but I do think, however, that someone knew who the Zodiac was and they were just too afraid to come forward. The Zodiac Killer obviously did this for the sake of attention. I think he was a terribly lonely person. I think he was an overlooked person. I think he might have been overlooked on his job. And I think he just had a grudge against society which makes him a very interesting serial killer because I'll bet that there are a lot of other lonely people out there that feel the way the Zodiac felt. They were probably lonely people and had a grudge against society for the way they had been treated. I think 
that that was the true motive for the Zodiac murders. He was incredibly lonely, like most serial killers. He couldn't function in school. He did poorly with relationships with other people. He probably had antisocial disorder. And that's what I believe the motive was. I don't think that there was some mysterious motive that nobody knew about. I think he was just an incredibly lonely person. And he probably had a horrible childhood. I don't mean to sound so cliche. But if you read his letters, they just reek of narcissism. He started to worship himself. And he was in love with himself because he didn't have anybody else to love. And he didn't have anybody else who he felt loved him. He even threatened to kill a bus full of school children, shoot the tires, and shoot the kitties as they come bouncing out, or at least something to that effect. And I feel like it was somebody that they knew, they just overlooked him, which is what allowed him to get away. And like D.B. Cooper, I think the Zodiac is alive, but even if he is, he would be too old now. Excuse my language, but I think one morning the Zodiac decided that he had had enough. And he just woke up and said, fuck it. I know that sounds filthy, but I think that that's what his mentality was. I think he was a genius, and I think he was overqualified for a lot of jobs which would explain why he decided to strike out against society. And there you have it. I think he was a police officer. I think he was someone that might have known the victims. He might have been fired from the police force, which is why he taunted police. Did they ever think about that? I'll bet they didn't. This guy might have been a police officer. He might have been in that very police station. The one that he called in 1968 and 69. He might have worked for them and maybe they fired him. So this was an act of revenge. You just never know. It was probably somebody who was in front of their face the entire time and they just overlooked them bottom line and that's what I think about the Zodiac Killer thank you for listening and if you have any other requests on serial killers or strange events please list them down in the comment section to this day the Zodiac Killer remains on the loose. He was never caught.